Sagittarius hello welcome to my channel I'm and this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Sagittarius some of rising in Venus or wherever you have a heavy Sagittarius placement the first message we have here is the real you has been exposed hmm okay so I can already feel that this reading is going to be very very specific okay so I'm picking up on a divine masculine who actually prejudged this divine feminine. And what I mean by that is when you came in contact with your person, the way that you presented yourself, maybe you are a very put together person. Um, maybe the way that you speak, the way that you act, the way that you talk, your exterior kind of made your person judge you or kind of made them put you in a certain category. But I'm definitely getting that your person has come into some new information about you or they become made aware of something. You may be at the stage of your relationship now or your connection now where you've kind of peeled back layers and your person is able to see you a little bit more clearly. Because I feel that because they prejudged you in the beginning, this kind of caused them to hide certain parts of themselves due to either fear or not being fully accepted here by you. So yeah, something about you has been exposed to your person here, or your person has definitely had the opportunity to get to know you on a deeper level. Maybe you've had a lot of intimate conversations with your person, and maybe your person is at this place where they're realizing that you are a lot more alike than you are not alike, okay? So yeah, wow. Yeah, this is, this is going to be very specific. I can feel it right now. Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have rejection is God's protection. Okay. So this message is resonating with you so far. I'm getting that because your person kind of went into your connection with these preconceived notions about you for whatever reason, they rejected you in some kind of way. This definitely may have shown up in your connection as them being hot and cold, as them pulling away when things begin to progress naturally. Okay, but I'm getting that this was not intentional, okay? Your person may very well have issues around emotional expression Okay, and I'm getting that these emotions definitely spilled over into your connection, okay? But I'm getting that your person kind of wanted to protect you. And some, it's like a weird kind of energy that I'm getting here, okay? It's like your person wants you to know that anytime they display these type of reactions to you, that you are actually being protected, okay? And they want you to know that God was actually protecting you from them in some kind of way. You know, sometimes God places people on your path to remind you of who you are. I feel like you did that for this divine masculine, okay? And it's almost as if they had to stretch into this version of themselves here. And they're, they're actually thanking God for protecting you from that version of themselves that would have made you question your own divinity. Wow. This is very powerful. So I'm feeling like your person has a lot of respect for you. Maybe when they came in contact with you, you were more spiritually inclined. Your person kind of did this thing where they felt like you were a little bit out of their league, but they prejudged you based upon your exterior. And as they got to know your internal processes, you kind of bonded on a much deeper level. They got to really see the other side of you, Divine Feminine. And this has really opened their eyes and really given them a glimpse into your world and what your experience has been like and what your journey has been like, okay? So your person wants you to know that at any point in your journey where you felt rejected, you felt as if your person's actions were not a direct reflection of what they were feeling for you, that you were actually being protected in some kind of way, okay? Yeah, this person has a lot of respect and admiration for you. 
And they had this from the very, very beginning, okay? Let's get the next message. Yes, the next message we have is, you were made for me. Yeah. I feel like your person is at this place right now where they feel like you have a lot more in common than they initially thought, okay? They also feel as if it's nothing that they can't express to you or share with you that would shock you. Okay, I'm getting that here. Um, I feel like you may have been through a lot of similar experiences on your journey here or Divine Feminine. You may have been in a position where you naturally kind of, you know, can feel where your person is coming from. It's almost as if you mirror each other in that way. Your person feels like you are the person that they can actually do life with. I'm also getting intimacy. So I feel like, and this is not just talking about sexual intimacy, I feel like everything that you do with your person has this undertone of intimacy. It's like, even if your person is private, even if they're not as expressive, they want to be expressive with you. You have a way of kind of extracting these parts from your person. And I feel like you, you've got to this level where, you know, your person has expressed they've maybe shared something with you from their past here where, you know, the way that you responded to this or the way that you respond to the way that they express themselves has really, really opened up their heart space and allowed them to feel as if you are a comfortable, safe space for them. They really look at you as being a life partner, okay? And having a really, really deep, intimate bond. It's something about this connection that is very different from any other connection that they've ever encountered. And I definitely feel like there's an authentic layer here where your person doesn't have to hide from you. I'm getting they can't hide from you even if they wanted to. And I'm getting also your person doesn't want to hide from you. There's something about your energy that makes your person want to run towards you and kind of express themselves and, and let everything out. But maybe in the beginning of your connection here, your person definitely felt some adverse emotions. Maybe they felt really raw. Maybe they felt really exposed in a way that they had never felt before that made them kind of, you know, show hot and cold tendencies. Um, I'm definitely getting there was a vast difference between their actions and their emotions here. But your person, something about, you know, your energy has been exposed. Maybe this could have been a very intimate conversation. Okay, maybe this could have been an energetic exchange. There's something here where your person knows for sure that you were made for them. Okay, wow, this is very, very powerful energy. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting once in a lifetime. This could definitely be a once in a lifetime type of love here where your person knows that they're not able to find this anywhere else, anywhere else. But I'm getting that this is like, I just keep getting authenticity. So Divine Feminine, you may be very, very authentic in the way that you express yourself, in the way that you describe your experiences. Something that really, really, you know, your person really admires about you is your authenticity, your ability to be real, your ability to express yourself, okay? And it kind of makes them want to match that energy and give you that same, you know, that same thing. That same level of expression. Let's get the next message here. Yeah. We have, I put you on a pedestal. Yeah. So yes, Divine Feminine, um, your masculine wants you to know that this is how they view you because I can feel the feminine energy like, you know, I'm no one to put on a pedestal. I've been through my things. I've been through my own journey. But your person is coming through letting you know that this is how they view you, okay? This is what makes you stand out. It's almost as if um, they put you on this pedestal I'm getting 
because there's something about your energy that causes, I keep getting expansion. So maybe there's something about your energy that makes your person want to expand. Your love stretches your person in ways that they've never been before here. Okay, when it comes to the masculine energy, masculine energy does appreciate a challenge. They appreciate having like a task, a certain goalpost here. And when it comes to you, I feel like this love that you share with your person helps them to expand in ways that they never had before, okay? They, they don't have the, the choice to kind of be complacent when it comes to you. This can very well have something to do with how they prejudged you in the beginning here. Maybe they thought you had it all figured out. You know, maybe you're very intellectual, you're very spiritually inclined. Something about the way that you present yourself. People may, you know, you may get this from other people as well, Divine Feminine, where people just kind of put you in this box. They don't really know the things that you've been through here, but the way that you present yourself causes people to judge you upon coming in contact with you initially, okay? But your person definitely wants you to know that, um, yeah, you help them grow, you help them expand. I feel like this may be a little bit intimidating to them in a way, but they love it though. Okay, I'm definitely getting very light energy from this here, but your person wants to know that you clearly stand out from any other connection that they've had here. I'm definitely getting because of this authentic ability that you have and the way that you are able to cause your person to stretch and expand beyond their wildest beliefs here, okay? Let's get the next message here. I feel like also, Divine Feminine, you and your person have a lot in common, okay? You have a lot in common. I feel like you'll either figure this out as you both begin to peel back the layers or you already know this. But there's something I'm getting very, very like similar energy. Um, yeah, some, something about your energies are very, very similar, okay? as far as your um, experience, your journeys. Let's get the next message here. Wow, we have, you changed me. Yeah. So what I'm getting from this one right here is that you didn't necessarily change your person divine feminine but I'm getting that you changed their internal process, okay? I, I feel like a really, really light energy. You know, I feel like I wanna smile, like I wanna laugh right now. So I feel like your person is extremely happy or there's something about your energy that makes them extremely happy and you've kind of made them believe in the fact that happiness, that real love really, really exists. And also that it's okay for them to be happy. This divine masculine that I'm picking up may have had a troubled past in some kind of way. They may have been through a lot of things in their past here where they kind of um, maybe had this negative outlook on life um, where they felt like they would have to settle. They wouldn't be able to get, you know, live a certain life or attain certain goals in their life here. But I'm feeling like this, this energy of calm, this energy of peace where you make your divine masculine feel like it's okay for them to live on the lighter side of life. It's okay for them to expect good things to come to them here. Okay? And it's, I'm also getting, um, they don't have a choice. So I'm getting that your person is realizing that you being a part of their life, they don't really have a choice but to feel this way. You may naturally be an optimist, um, divine feminine. Or it's almost as if their being reacts to you in a certain kind of way, even if they're in this kind of mood that's down. Just being in your energy has the ability to heighten them in a way that kind of blows their mind a little bit because it's almost as if they don't have control over it. It's like you bring out this version of them, you know, that just kind of blows their mind. It's like you bring the highest version of them out. Yeah. It's like you naturally make them want to be better. And this is something that they really, really value as it pertains to your connection, okay? Let's get the last message here. 
Yeah, so if you're resonating with this message so far, because I am getting that this one will be very specific here, um, your Divine Masculine has definitely come into some new information about you. Okay, you've even had, you've either had a very intimate conversation, um, you have peeled back the layers of yourself in some kind of way, where your person is realizing they may have judged you a little too soon here. Some of them may have felt like you were a little out of their league, which was very intimidating for them. And instead of them expressing this to you, this may have shown up in your connection as them rejecting you, as them ghosting, as them pulling their energy back, you know, because I'm getting that even conversing with you, Divine Feminine, may have made your person feel very, very raw, okay, very vulnerable in ways that they had never felt before. You really have this natural ability where everything that you do with your person just feels intimate to them. It feels sacred, okay? And this is something that, that may be very, very foreign to them, but at this stage that there are that they're at right now they're realizing that you were actually made for them they actually feel these feelings and these emotions because you're the person that they're supposed to share this with so in the past whereas you know this made them want to run or this made them feel nervous they have this sense of calm where they're realizing that everything is by design okay they felt this level of comfort in your presence because you're the person who they're able to share this side of them with, okay? And your person wants you to know that they kind of put you on a pedestal. They definitely feel as if your connection is different from any connection that they've ever had, okay? And this is simply because you have the ability to kind of shift their mindset in a way that you know, their life experiences haven't, maybe other connections haven't, other relationships haven't been able to access them in this kind of way. But your energy, just being in your presence, really, really has the ability to change the way that your person feels internally, which and then has, is changing their world externally. Okay, this is very beautiful. Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have, are you ready for this? Wow, this is beautiful. Honestly, I feel like, I feel like your person is kind of asking themselves this question, okay? This connection has been really, really life-changing, okay? Um, it's almost as if your person is preparing themselves to kind of quantum leap into this new life, into this new version of love, okay? And it's like, I don't know, it's almost as if your person is, is cause I get this really eager, excited kind of energy here where you both have kind of felt like you found your, your person, like your other half. I feel this is coming from the divine feminine and the divine masculine, okay? And it's like you're eager to kind of share what it took for both of you to be in this place, what it took for your souls to come together, okay? It's like you're two totally different people, you know, growing up in two totally different realities, and you're going through this journey in life to kind of come together, and you found your person. This is very, very powerful energy, okay? This is also very specific. I'm getting against all odds as well. So you both may have very, very similar backgrounds here where you both maybe had to go against the grain and maybe you both had to break cycles off of your life. Maybe you both had to break generational curses to have this high vibrational love. And you've reached this place where you found your person. You have, it's been confirmed to you as well. I'm also getting never judge a book by its cover. So maybe the way that you met your person or the way that your person met you is a vast difference from what's actually inside of them, okay? And by kind of peeling back these layers, you have identified your soulmate, you know, your twin soul. This is very, very beautiful. I'm getting that you both were chosen and you both are answering the call. 
I feel like your person is ready to answer the call. So they're asking themselves, are you ready? I definitely feel like this is their internal process. Wow, this is very, very beautiful energy. So if you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.